How's it going, everybody? Stay Weird 1993 here, or of course, if you follow me over on YouTube, it's Stay Weird 1993 Vlogs. Welcome back to my stream again. I'm surprised so many of you are back, given that I don't know how many of you enjoy, um, over time, watching me play this game very, very poorly, but this game is literally my teenage life. So, I am going to reminisce like I'm 14 again and play some Halo 3. Because it's out on the MCC, which is all I've been asking for. I want Halo Infinite, and I want it now, so I can't have it now. This is the next best thing. How are we all doing tonight, anyway? Hello. And Lord Arbiter's joining us. How's it going, man? Oh, good. Been doing some Halo 3 today myself. It's fun, isn't it? Come on, it's fun. <laughs> I was doing some of the PvE challenges. Oh, does the, I've not had a look at the challenges yet. I'm literally, I've just jumped into some multiplayer because I just want to shoot yeah. people in the face. Oh, I already got, I think I've jumped like, um, four season level, four season ranks just doing, just doing yeah. like four or five of the challenges. It's cool. I mean, I might go for the challenges, but at the moment I'm just enjoying playing Halo 3 multiplayer again because this was oh, like... Yeah. This was, this is what got me into like, I mean, aside from World of Warcraft, like this is what got me into FPSs online, because I mean, I enjoyed the Halo campaigns, but yeah. bef before that, I mean, I kind of enjoyed the multiplayer, but Halo 3 was when I really got obsessed. Yeah. Um, like that was, that I was 14, I remember. Um, because I remember, um, I got Halo 3 with my Xbox, I hadn't played it, um, just because I hadn't played it yet, I hadn't got round to it. Um, and then I got round to it, and uh, that was the first time my parents had gone. We're gonna get you. We're gonna let you have an Xbox Live subscription. Bearing in mind, of course, I didn't have a job or anything. I was fourteen, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, and I was like, "Holy shit, really?" And then I was like, "Okay, so what's the first game I'm playing online? Halo 3. Um, and yeah. it was so fun. It was so so goddamn fun. Um, okay, I've just spawned and got shot straight away. That's always fun. That's the only problem with Foundry, because it's such a small map. But yeah, but you can make some really good maps on it. Oh, you can make some incredible Forge stuff. Have you seen that they... I made, I made, on that map, I made like a Mongoose roller coaster. Oh yeah, those were cool. I remember people making those. Like, those were always... Yeah, I made, yeah, I made one. Yeah, a lot of people did. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, they were really fun. I mean, one thing I remember as well is, if you remember, uh, there was one called Omega Journey that everyone used to play. On, in fact, uh, we had to like break through all the sort of um, oh, yeah. concrete barricades, push boxes out the way, solve puzzles to escape the zombie that was coming after uh, you. Yeah, I used to absolutely love that. Um, and um, well, I've seen that they've updated Halo 3's Forge as well, which means you don't have to phase objects anymore. Yeah, which means you can literally phase them using the setting, so you can just make a really cool map. Yeah. I'm definitely going to do some maps on Forge, like 100%. Uh, oh, shit. Well, when we get crossplay, you'll be able to have some on me, some forging experience. I'm going to say, I used to, I used to do a lot of forging back in Halo 3. I used to make a lot of maps. Um, yeah. A lot of, like, competitive sort of arena-style maps, you know, symmetrical yeah. stuff. Um, as well as, uh, like, I used to make a lot of those, and um, I used to really love it. Um... I used to make a lot of them on, you know, sandbox. Yeah. Um, so I used to make, I used to use that cave room below. I used to make a lot of like symmetrical arena maps. Yeah. Um, and it was ridiculously fun. Um, I used to make some that my friends were like every time that like they they'd actually ask to play. Oh, can we play that map again? <laughs> you know. Um, where it's like I I also made one that was just just mean for the sake of being mean. Um, which was a um. It was basically a foundry map, and it looked like a really good arena map. But it, there was a there was a trick, and it. it was like if you got the if you got the shit spawned, what happened was you got spawned into a teleporter, um, which also had it, which fired you into a grav lift, which fired you into a teleporter, which fired you back into the grav lift forever. <laughs> and it's like I used to deliberately like try and get my friend to die so I could get him in there because every time he did, he just rage quit straight away. <laughs> It's like, oh, not this again, rage quit. It's like, if you literally just throw a grenade at the floor, you'll get out. It was literally put in there to annoy people and no other reason. Yeah. Um, 
It's like I lived. It's like I just made that. It's like the, I mean, the map itself was a legit map, um, but the rest of it was just put in there to annoy people and make things slightly irritating. Yeah. Um. I actually like. I keep forgetting that Foundry was the first map where they were like, you know what? We're just gonna let people build what they want. And it was like an experiment, wasn't it? You know, they were kind of like, well, we'll see how this goes because people might not like this. And then there could be, it became probably one of the biggest selling points for Halo Forge. Yeah. And it's like some people I know bought Halo to make maps, basically. <laughs> like because they were always, they, they were sort of some of them were like wannabe game designers, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So what they. Yeah. There was a map I downloaded on the three sixty version of Halo three. Yeah. But, but I can't remember that it's one of the snow maps. Uh was it on Avalanche? That's the one. Um someone made a giant ACAT wall. Oh oh I've seen that. It wasn't functioning, <laughs> was it? It was um no. I can you imagine if they made I mean to be fair with the prefabs in um in, with the prefabs in uh, Halo 5, you could make a functioning ATAT -AT in theory. Oh, that would take a lot of programming. Oh, yeah, but you could definitely do it. I can barely put. I'm just figuring um, I'm still on the figuring out how to program those. They are tricky. It's like if you can't get your head around the coding language, then, you know. I can't, I'm actually cold. I'm actually made like a base map from Halo 5. Um, I managed to code ban, 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 it's an interesting concept. I really like the fact they included that interactive because, like, for me, it's like you could make such a good map if you can, you can, you can get your head around how to program it. Yeah, and if you choose, and if you get the right map, because like if you make if you make yourself a damn good map. Um, let's see, uh, game size, yeah, it's actually really weird playing Halo 3 again, but it, uh, uh, by the way, in, in less than a week, we're getting the, finally getting the reveal of how Halo Infinite's gonna look, we're getting the campaign trailer, mm -hmm. yeah. and I, yeah. I am excited, I'm finally gonna see, I mean, I haven't pre-ordered it, because I'm, I'm just gonna get it on PC, to be fair, because it'll have... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, see if I can try and get with a new Xbox. You see, I was gonna get the new Xbox, but yeah. I like PC gaming, and it's like I can play the games that I want to play on here, and I can yeah. play it with people who have Xboxes. Like, for me, I don't have space for consoles right now. I have a PS4 set yeah. up over there, which is basically just a Netflix machine. <laughs> it's like, literally, that's the only reason I have it at this point. Um... Just because I do all my gaming on here, so Destiny, which was my main sort of thing that I played, yeah, um, I play that on here now. Uh, Halo, I can play that on here now. Gears of War, I can play that on here now. Call of Duty, you bet yeah, I can play that on here now. Um, you know, it's like anything. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of those. Um, PC is forever better, but I do think. Oh, the uh, PC Hi, Esther. Are you, you had a shower, Esther. Don't. Uh, oh, you had you had a bath. <laughs> oh, it's bedtime now, is it? You're gonna watch a movie. Yeah, I can watch <laughs> Esther's just come up to bed because um, yeah, cause she's just been in the bath. And I'm like, please don't walk onto camera naked, child. But she didn't, luckily. <laughs> I was like, please don't do that. I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> No child, is this is this child? <laughs> oh, that's cool, Esther. It's um, yeah, it's like um, don't get me wrong, adorable, but it's like if she walks on camera, it's like I have to take the stream down. <laughs> it's like naked babies are not allowed on the internet, and for good reason. Um, yes. <laughs> but it's like try and convince her that she should she should put clothes on it's like no <laughs> but that's what oh, happened oh, like a lot of a lot of toddlers are for some reason um because she was like but bear in mind she's she's three 
So mm. what she likes to do is she, she once she, once she's got her clothes off, she will not put them back on, basically, unless you tell her off, and then she gets upset. And then it's like, do I want do I want the tantrum or do I just let the child keep her clothes off? It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to have to make this decision because I don't particularly like. If someone comes over and expects them to go, why is the child naked? I'm like, because she doesn't want clothes. It's like, well, just dress her. Oh, go get mummy to give you one. Um, see, luckily when she's this age, we can communicate with her and tell her to do things. Yeah, it's when she's older. Yeah, it's when she can answer back that that's the problem. Yeah, it's when all the uh, attitude and sex kicks in. Oh yeah, when she's a teenager. Well, I well not no not necessarily teenagers. Teenagers going to be the worst, but like when she's about five and starts going, shut up, dad. You know. Oh, when puberty hits. Yeah, please don't don't make me think about it. <laughs> It gives me anxiety realizing that I've got to like look after a teenage child at some point. Yeah. It's like I don't. It's like it's like it's like don't shout at me. I will cry. Please don't do that. And then you've got to put me one grin through their uh, eighteen plus years. Well, the thing is, um, Esther will be when Esther's eighteen. Beatrice will be fifteen. Ah. Uh. So um, that means that we're gonna have we're gonna have two teenagers in the house. That sounds fun. Yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait. <laughs> Two teenagers who will probably be like, God, Dad, you're so embarrassing. Stop he stop air guitaring. You're like 50 now. Or be like, Oh my God, Dad, you're too old. You're like in your 50s. You're too old to be a goth. You're not cool anymore. Hey, I'll, I'll be like, hey, hey, Marilyn, <laughs> hey, Marilyn Manson's pushing 50 now. <laughs> And he, he's still right. king of the goths, yeah? Right, something like that. <laughs> like, I do, but I'm using it. If I can Hang on. Uh, Just, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Uh, but it's, yeah, um, so... Basically... Um, uh, it's like, you know, the, the way I see it, it's like, you're too old to be a goth, it's like... No, that's not a thing. It's like, it's like I just become a goth wizard at a certain age. Yeah, it's like when you, it's when you start hearing you're too old, you're you're too old to be cool. So I get that now when I'm 26. <laughs> yeah, but when, yeah, but when you start getting to put your own kids, they'll be saying that from when they're about five. <laughs> and that, that means I've got two years of being cool left. I won't even I won't even be 30. No, you won't. <laughs> So I, I will be. I will be. So it's like when we've been thirty years old, and my kids are like, "Dad, that's not cool." It's like, "Well, I'm sorry, kid. You're not cool either. You're 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 literally five years old. You can't do anything cool." It's like you know what is cool. <laughs> you know what is cool, kids? Smoking and hard drugs. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, just, yeah. So I think if you say that, just just <laughs> going to explain what the word cool mean. What the word cool mean. And, and if you can't answer it, then you just say, yeah, you can't say anything then. <laughs> it's like, at that point, I'd be like, um, I was cool once, then they changed what cool is. <laughs> In the word, it's quoting uh, Abe Simpson. Yeah, the, the word cool is always changing its context. I, I prefer the phrase, I, 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 I end up using phrases ironically, such as rad. So, for example, I say that um, if I was to create a supervillain duo, it would be Rad Brad and Bad Chad. <laughs> and it's just like, I'm I'm terrible, and it's got to a point where I'm not even sorry about it. <laughs> I'm just looking at all my... It's weird, because I go into customization just to check that I've put the armor as... I, I've put it as full recon armor, but I'm just like... Because it was my favorite armor in Halo 3, of course it was. I never, I never, I never liked the look of it. It was my favorite in the I game. Preferred, I preferred the katana armor. Oh, a lot of people did. It's like I liked my favorite setup was always uh, recon, but with the security shoulders. Yeah. Um, I've just set that back up because I keep tw switching between just full recon and this. I'm like, well, no, this is what I actually had back in Halo Three. Yeah. Um, I changed, yeah, I actually changed color my Halo Three Elite as well. 
Oh yeah, yeah, man, got to. Most most be gold, blue, but be gold. Ah, blue and gold, yeah, yeah. But but be gold and red. Let's see. Um. Oh no, I just accidentally uh, unticked all my bloody options for matchmaking. It's like, I don't care what kind of match I get. Like, just put me in a match. That covenant skin, but what's on the armor of the minor elite? Yeah. That's red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's mostly blue, and then the rest of it's gold. That's pretty cool. <laughs> like, the shoulders and some side, like, side the edges of gold. So like, I am, um, I'm wondering, you know, will we get customization in Infinite? Because yeah. the, the Banish are all but confirmed, right? Yeah. They are going to be in it. Like, yeah. can you play as a brute on the multiplayer? <laughs> can oh, I please God. have yeah, my... Yeah, you see, you're going to do that, then you've got to be playable elite back. You see, I think that should be an option, but again, it does present difficulties with hitboxes and stuff. I get why they did it, why they removed it. I, I, I do understand. Yeah. But I do understand, like, it did change things a bit, but I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, I think either way is going to be fine, because I, they know they've got to double down on the um, customization to make people satisfied, because Halo 4 was too little, Halo 5 was too little, Halo Reach was, some people said, too much, and then, some, and then Halo 3 was, I think, just right, but it needed a few more options. Yeah. Uh, I think Halo, anything close to Halo Reach where we can customize l individual, I think what, I think it should be complete customization, like you know, shoulders uh, separately, like visors, accessories, um, each arm, e like arm, yeah. shoulder, and lower um, armor, uh, armor accessories. We should have like leg armor, knee knee pads, stuff like. That. We should be able to customize everything. Um, we what? We in the old, we could in the old Reach. Uh, what? What? Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot. Because I thought that's what you asked me to bring up. Sorry. Um, so it's... um. And anyway, so, yeah. like I think there's, they, what they need to do is have the customization where basically you, you just get to meet your spot and look how you want. It's like, it's not difficult. It's just, it was too simplistic in Halo 5 and I think they know that. Um, one, one thing you could, one way you could probably fix the elites is make them the same, same size hitbox as the, as the Spartans and everyone knows where to hit. That's true, it's just with the having a different posture it can be a little difficult. You know, because they're sort of hunched over. Yeah. That's where the trickiness comes in. But also, you could just, they could just throw the rule book out and go, right, well, everyone's going to play, we're going to have playable brutes, elites, you know, everything. Yeah. Just give them everything, except for, like, the Flood, because obviously that'd be dumb, like, except for, in but Infection, I think you should be able to play as the Flood. You sort of can five? Yeah, and four you can. Yeah, and four and five you sort of can. Oh, yeah, I just think that, um... I think it'd be interesting if they added infection mode, uh, but and they called it flood instead, like they did with Halo Four. Yeah. Um, and in flood mode, you could you could be carrier, you could be you know you could pick a form. Oh yeah. I think that would be an interesting variant. Like that's not the only infection type, but you could play that kind of infection if you wanted. Mm, but I can see way too many things wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, as I say, it would just be, like, for fun. Like, it should, it's just an option. You can, like, if you wanted to play, like, you know, it's one of those things. But Infection's fine as it is, but it'd just be cool. Um, and then one thing I would like to see as well is um, with customization, rather than set colors, um, I'd like color wheels. You know, like where you yeah. can, where you basically can pick any color that's not not on a gradient, like it's not preset. Yeah. It's like you the like you all you have to do is like then you you just slide the color wheel to exactly where you want, or just more colors, like you know more shades of different colors, because you could make some really interesting characters. Um. Oh my God, there's a character. Someone's named their um, bloody um. The game attack. the game attack, yeah, is Marty Owo Donald O W O. I'm yeah. um, so like, come on, you can't combine the Owoers with Marty O'Donnell. I 
I can't remember this map at all. But yeah, we're, one of the challenges is um, I don't know, but everyone's challenges are doing the different, but to complete a mission on the Oracle Legendary. Oh yeah. So I went, so I went on the, the Covenant on Legendary. Oh yeah. And I did it, and I did it, and I did the entire mission out barely breaking a sweat. I'm gonna say it's good. I mean, Halo Three Legendary. It's like I played so much of the campaign on Legendary just for reasons and like helping friends doing things with legendary i remember um when because I, I remember you had to complete the whole campaign on legendary to get the uh, eod armor yeah which uh which everyone used to call darth vader i'm like it looks nothing like darth vader <laughs> it's like it, it's, it's if anything it's more like a stormtrooper hmm. um i mean i kind of get it but also why? But um, yeah, I went for it like I went for the mission on Legendary like it was nothing. That's good. That's good. It means you haven't forgotten how to play the game. For me, it's just getting used to the controls on PC. Cause I'm so used to playing this with a controller that I've got to get used to not playing it with a controller. Oh shit! That was a rocket that went yeah. straight. Yeah, I've understood. A lot of people say Legendary is hard, but Legendary to me is like easy, <coughs> is easy or normal difficulty. I've always said I think Legendary is quite easy on Halo, except for when you do like if you, if you when you put it on Mythic and do all skulls, that's when you've got a challenge. Oh, the lasso campaign. Yeah, the lasso is like I. If I want a challenge, I I think of the lasso challenge. No, that's not a challenge. That's torture. Uh, it's torture. <laughs> that's un that's unbeatable torture. I mean, I've completed Lasso on Halo Three. Um, I've attempted a Lasso, but never got, but didn't get particularly far on it. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite one was that um, my friend got really got kept getting really mad because there was that Vidoc challenge to complete the last mission with everybody in ghosts with all skulls oh, on. Oh, I remember doing that. And he got so mad because all because he kept dying, but he didn't realize why he kept dying. Yeah. And I was like, "It's because you're slow. You're being slower in the ghost than everybody else." And he's like, "Well, why do I keep getting killed?" I'm like, "Well, you need to keep up with everybody else." Like, do you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. yeah they were what they were one of the challenges where you have to complete the missions on normal or high difficulty. What the what what involved the flood. Oh yeah, I know. And the third one I did was the uh, War Og one level. Oh yeah, the final the level, just it. just called Halo, isn't it? That one. Yeah, yeah. So I did that to finish that. It's I've like done quite a few. I think I did like at least five or more challenges. You know, for TV alone. You know, you know what I always found interesting about the ending of Halo Three? Yeah. They kept saying, "Oh, it's definitely gonna, it was going to be the last Halo game at the time, right?" But there was no way that that was where they were going to leave it. No. Because it's like, it's not the last Halo game. We all know it isn't. Why would you have a cliffhanger ending for the last Halo game? <laughs> it's like, you'd have it conclusive, like, yeah, he just died. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could, they could, they could have ended it there. Do you know what I mean? If they really wanted to. Yeah. But I'm glad they didn't. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad they didn't. Um... <laughs> So you know you um them rank up them uh, rank you the new rank up speed you unlock by leveling. Yes. There's some char there's some um, challenges that give you them. There are, aren't there? Yeah. Um, yeah, which I've done so. So I've got two. Well, you, if you're in the well, in between games, why don't you have a look while you're in between games? That's like, I'm just having a look. Yeah, it's like um. Char so you the first what the star button would be. Yeah. Challenge hub. Yeah, win match made games, earn style medals, complete yeah, competitive match games. Go, yeah. I'm still doing you know, season one stuff. Yeah, it's like uh, so I'm still going to do that. Just be opponents with common yeah. style. Yeah, like. the, yeah, the orange ones. They're the ones that give them the orange yeah. ones give the XP. That's fair enough. Then you've got the PvE mm -hmm. and then you've got seasonal. Yeah, also the PvE one, you look at them, they're the ones I've been doing. Oh, yeah. 
if you look at them. That's fine. And then Halo 3 Celebration. Defeat en flying enemies in Halo 3 campaign or mission playlist to unlock the brand new um, Acrophobia Skull. Complete oh. heavy missions of the co-op session to unlock the Alliance yeah, name. Yeah, these ones I've been doing the ones that you all want. You can see what you want. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the PBE. I want to have a look at my nameplates. Co yeah, you can do co-op for that. I, I ain't got any friends to do that, so I'm not that raid. See, I've got quite a few nameplates, so I've got... That one, that one, no, we must, that one, we must achieve an orbit or... Oh, yeah, you have to do that. The... But you have to do the entire Halo 3 on your co-op, and none of my friends play Halo anymore. Oh, damn it, that's a shame. So I can't do that unless, until Crossplay comes out and I do it with you. Well, yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> oh, there's, so, there's quite a lot of these. Uh, there's a lot of nameplates here. Yeah. My God. I, I actually quite like, because some people were like, um, what's the point in having nameplates? I'm like, it's just that additional bit of customization. Wait, have you got a Halo... Have you got um, the Halo Reach one there where um, the Elvada Elite's uh, holding the Spartan bike neck? I think so. Have uh, you got that one? That's one I'm using. Let me have a look. Um... She should have it if you play through Reach. She should have it. I don't think I finished the campaign yet on on this. What really? No, I just stopped. Um, just because um, I, I got distracted by other stuff. Um, and I never went back to it yet. Um. What's up? Oh. Right, so we're gonna hop into um another matchmaking game. No, you don't have it then. No. But I, I, yes, you got to use it. Yeah, they can. Yeah. <laughs> they can. Yeah. I've got on to be right back. Just. You have? What are you looking for? Beeping. That's weird. Oh, we're on sandbox. This is, I was talking about this a minute ago. I remember this map. God. I mean, the forge stuff you could you could create in here was good fun. Yeah. I don't know if you remember sandbox. <laughs> oh, I do. I made I made an all on the ground maze on this map. You see, on this one, I made. Um, that's why I used to make a lot of competitive, like symmetrical maps. Yeah. So, um, in the middle. Yeah. What's covered up is a is a deletable object. It's where you go down. Yeah. Yeah, I, did, I made an, all, an entire underground maze. Gotta say down when I down there is where I made my competitive symmetrical maps, like for capture the flag and stuff. Yeah. I, I think I made a base down there as well. There's some really good stuff you can make, and it's really interesting. Yeah. That overshield is so high up. Why is there an overshield literally in midair? Uh, there is a way to get to it. Yeah, you have to grenade jump, I think. But you know what? This gives me like, even though I'm not great at this right now because it's been so many years, like it's, it's giving me so much nostalgia. Like I, I'm just remembering every good time I had on this game. Uh, someone, someone um, on your team is called Super Jesus. Yep, Super Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> well, clearly he's not Super Jesus at Halo. Super Jesus. It's like. <laughs> Really? It's like, you know what's better than Jesus? Super Jesus. Wow, that um, death position. I know. <laughs> Please let my shield recharge. Holy shit. Motherfucker. The only thing with that missile... Uh I got so many kills with that missile pod. The missile pod's a lot of fun, especially when your enemy's got a vehicle. Yeah. 
My favourite is when you have one on Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla is so much fun on BT Day. Oh, that's true, yeah. I wonder if you can search Big Team Battle on Halo 3 online now. You should be. I can't see why not. Yeah, because I've not had any matches on like Valhalla yet or anything. I can't see why not. You'll have to limit it though. Just BTB. I wouldn't be. I would. I would be okay with that. Some big team madness would be quite fun. Um, I've not played um, my favourite map yet, which was um, my favourite map's Valhalla, but my favourite smaller map, which was G Guardian. <laughs> I liked Guardian and um, Blackout, which is obviously just Lockout, but you know. Yeah. Um, that that, that bounce with so many names. The thing is with what annoys me. The thing is with, with the thing is with Guardian. Guardian was the reimagining of Lockout. Mm. That was the reimagining of Lockout, but they they made it again. They made it again anyway because of popular demand. Yeah. Which is fine. It's just like. Also, there's um, high ground's a good map. I like high ground as well. Uh, oh, high, high ground, high ground. It's the one where where some people start at the beach and some people have to make their way up the hill. Oh, longshore. It's not longshore. No, it's just high ground. It used to be called longshore, though. Oh, that was the old. That was the old old map, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, that would be that would be that would be your G name. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't I didn't realize I didn't I didn't think it was a remake of I didn't think it was a remake of Longshore. That was your that would be your G name from the original Xbox Halo Two. Oh yeah, I know I know I know of Longshore. I think it's different from that. And then there was obviously the remake of Zanzibar as well. Um, no, Zanzibar was so what it went from Longshore to something else. To Zanzibar, so it is now. And then Halo Three. In Halo Three, it's called. It's not called Zanzibar. It's called something else. Yeah, we went through so many names. Um, that. And High Ground's a different one. High Ground's the um, the what you you know the one with the bunker at the top of the hill. Oh, that map. Uh, uh, I also really like. It's it's a map that you don't see very often in circulation, but Epitaph. Yeah. One what? map I don't. One map I always hate was Snowbound. I didn't mind Snowbound, I just didn't like the snow... I didn't like Boundless. Yeah, Snowbound was always a nightmare of a map. Now, a map I really did like was Narrows. I like... I always loved Narrows. Yeah. There's, there's very few... Halo, Halo 3 had very few bad maps. Like, there was yeah. maybe one or two that weren't great, and that was it. We did have this annoying map, so... Like Snowbound, uh, Citadel's yeah. good, um, and then there was also uh, I I I really like the uh, Assembly was good. Um, I'd say there's a, there's so many maps I could go through that I, that I enjoyed, but um, in terms of ones I didn't, I can't think of many I didn't like other than the Boundless Snowbound. Uh, the Pit was always yeah. great. Um, Depends on what game mode you were playing on. Uh, it's like for me, one of my favourite game modes was a uh, free for all on Guardian. Yeah, I don't really do much free for all. No, though. me neither. But I liked it on Guardian. Yeah, I hate Guardian. That ooh, that map annoys me so much. See, I don't see the problem with Guardian. I actually really liked Guardian. I always thought it was a good map. It was one of my favourites. Uh, I like uh, Ghost Town as well. Ghost Town's good. The problem with Guardian is if if, it's, if someone had spot, like grabbed the sniper and got into a really good spot, you weren't doing anything that much. Well, that's true. I, I used to know this really good trick jump you could do with a grenade <laughs> uh, on Guardian, where if you threw a grenade at the right place with the sniper, you could jump up and literally hide inside a tree, basically. Yeah, and if you and if you had the gravity ammo, that would be it. Well, yeah, that's why you don't go to the bottom floor. Yeah, but once you have the gravity armor, no one's killing you. Unless they've got the sniper. Yeah. <laughs> and by that time, you've got the sniper and the gravity armor. <laughs> it was always so, fun. So by that time, you've got both of the power weapons. <laughs> Let's 
let's see, if we go to 8v8. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, 8v8. Um, heavies, we'll just tick everything. No, that's, that's FFA. Oh, no, 8v8 isn't. No, you were an 8v8 FFA at the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Oh, one of my yeah, friends is playing. Good. One of my old Xbox 360 friends is playing. <laughs> Let's see, just make sure we're only on three. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so you just need to limit it to uh, BCB now. Yeah, I mean, 8v8, I don't mind ticking everything. I just want some bigger matches. And they'll, they'll, they'll have the bigger maps. So, like Valhalla, um, you've got uh, the Seafront one. I can't remember the name of. You've got um, Avalanche, stuff like that. Avalanche was one of my favourites as well. Avalanche, yeah. I really like the Oh, I like, oh, Standoff. How could I forget Standoff? Standoff's great. Standoff, that's the one, that's a satellite base one, isn't it? Yeah, we've just dropped into a heavy game on Standoff. Standoff uh, was super fun. Um, oh, this one, I made, me and my best friend always made death, death ramps on this. Death ramps, oh my god, I remember do, doing stuff like that. Yeah, so we made death ramps, so you jump in like ghost choppers, warthogs, mongoose, you know, like vehicles. Yeah. And then you and then you land in like explosive barrels and mine, pile explosive barrels and mines. Oh yeah, yeah, that definitely. That was basically all you did on standoff. That was the rules. <laughs> it's like one. So we just, so we just did that in all areas. I made a death trap for my uh, me and my brother used to do it. Uh, where yeah. basically what happened was um, we would have it. So uh, if you stood in a specific spot, a wraith would spawn on top of you, like it would drop. Okay. And yeah. and we used to just see how far it would send you flying because of the messed up physics when something like landed on you. Yeah. And there was one where it just sent my brother flying so far across the map, it was unreal. Literally just went across the entire map, um, and and literally he just head butted a wall, and that was that was it. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, the hate. Oh, we, oh we, I was like, why am I getting spawn capped? There's somebody sat with a gorse hog outside the base. Of course there is. It's standoff. <laughs> of course there is. It's a small map. We're known small maps. Small maps fix it, but you have to spawn camp. It's like, yeah, the gorse hog was the problem here. It's like, oh, oh my god, a, someone's put a banshee on this map on the heavies mode. <laughs> Really? Excuse me, why can't I drive this forklift? I'm, I know, I know why, but I think that drivable forklifts made it were in Halo Reach, and it was the best thing. Oh shit! I just, I just hail married a grenade across the map, and and it stuck to my uh, own teammate's warthog. Of course it did. Didn't kill them. No one's dead, but <laughs> no one died. But I was just like, no, 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 please. <laughs> Carnage, I love it. This reminds me of also like thinking back to old machinimas like RB and Chief and stuff as well. Oh yeah. Uh, my favourite machinima that used to be on um on on the internet was uh it was called pregame lobby. Yeah. And there's this one bit where I mean they wouldn't get away with it now because of copyright. But yeah. um what they did was there was this whole number within it where they where all the members of the cast for some reason were singing um Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Oh god. Um it's because this what the what the girl who was with in the party she absolutely hated that song and this guy who liked her sang it to her and then all of a sudden it became like a musical number and everyone was singing it. <laughs> and it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, it, it's probably even funnier because I actually like Iris. It's a good song. Um, yeah. It's like one of those ballads from the early 2000s by a by an, by a band that was massively underrated. I mean, the Goo Goo Dolls. Like all they're known for now is Iris as a song. All right. But they have so many other good songs. Do you know? <laughs> they're one of those bands where everyone knows the one song. It's like everyone's like, oh, Slipknot, you mean the guys who sang Psychosocial? I'm like, they literally have four other albums. Uh, if not more, music to listen to. Yeah. Um, it's like, or like when you get, um, oh, that's not good. 
somebody just um because you know on pc you've got the text chat as well oh god someone yeah uh someone just dropped the n-word <laughs> oh my god are you, are you kidding no no um we're already at that point now where <laughs> someone's just someone saying gamer words yeah uh, wait it's just been out on pc how long well, exactly. It's ridiculous. It was, yeah, so it was just been out on PC how long and the end words would have been dropped. Two days. Yeah. Literally two days. <laughs> yep, two words and you already seen the end bomb. Yep. Why am I not surprised? Um, well, it's Halo 3, what do you expect? No one would survive in a Halo 3 pre-game lobby back in 2007. Oh god, the insults were flying back then. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't condone that kind of behaviour. It's like, don't use racist language. There's no reason for that. I remember some of those arguments. Yeah, no, it's like, honestly, the amount of, the amount of crap you used to get just for being English. Like if you oh. were if you weren't American. Yeah, all right. If you beat someone, you were just a bit world's biggest hacker. All of a sudden. You were a hacker, um, and then also because you were English, it was okay to be, like a dick. Because like, like you'd you'd speak in game chat like, "Oh, shut up, you're British." I'm like, "Yes, yes, I am." And then the other view, and these are the many reasons I don't condone game chat. See, for me, I, I like game chat because it reminds me that there are certain people that shouldn't be allowed to breed. See, I used to be able to take all the, um, all the crap people flew, flew around Halo back then, but I just can't take it now. I just really, really don't care when somebody insults me. It's like... <laughs> it's like... So I'm one of those people, it's like, if someone starts insulting you personally, especially for no reason, it's like, what are you so mad for? Yeah, I just can't take that sort of crap anymore now, 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 I'm, now I'm a bit older. Now, you see, some people get like that, obviously they can't take it. Like, for me, I just don't have time for it. See, back then, I was younger, so I could take that crap and, ret and return it tenfold. Yeah, it's like... What I've learned is, like, I used to get really annoyed and kind of upset by things like that, but now, um, I literally am just like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think as I've just got older, I think I've just softened up a bit. See, I've gone, I've gone the opposite way. Like, I, I used to get upset, and now I just don't care. Um, it's like I'm like, well, the way I look at my life is that people can call me what they like, but at the end of the day. Like, I look at what I have, like, somebody who spends their time insulting people on the internet, like, um, it's like, uh, it's like the people who insult each other on the internet, it's like, well, I, I literally am not interested in that because I look at the fact that they probably don't have, like, a partner and children or a f very fulfilled life, and I'm like, well, I, who wins really at the end of the day here? Someone sat in their mum's basement alone, screaming the N-word into their microphone, or somebody who has a family, and a job, yeah. and, and other interests. Yeah, the reason, I, one of the reasons I gave up on all that sh all that crap flying around, um, you know, all the insults flying around Halo games yeah. and that. Yep. Yeah. It's because it's 2020, some of them are nearly 30, some of, them, some of us have actually grown up. Yeah. Some of us have actually grown brain cells. That's what I mean. It's like, if if you're one of the kind of people, I mean, okay, a, I would say a, a little trash talk online is fine. A little trash talk. Yeah. To a degree. Um, but there's a limit. And it's well, like... Back then, but back then there was a lot of trash talk. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. There was there was huge amounts of trash talk back then. It was like that's all you heard. I mean, and the state of the world in right now, you can't say off that. But you can't even say off that trash talk. I mean, luckily, we're I think we're more socially aware. 
which means that like luckily the things that aren't okay to say are finally being like yeah you can't say that anymore like that's good like if you ask me um i'm just gonna cut this part down for youtube because